I've got an older audience on this YouTube channel, so this is gonna be a good video for you. Today we're gonna be testing out the ankle braces and the knee braces from Old Bones Therapy. So these are labeled as a knee brace. So yeah, it's compression, but there's also a stability factor to it. And that's why it's labeled a brace. So it's not gonna be as stable as something with you know, metal joints on the side, but it's going to stabilize your knee somewhat and add that compression. So the reason you want compression on a knee brace is muscles like blood flow and they like to be warm. So you know how you have to warm up your legs when you're skating? So this is like a nice hug on your knee. It warms up your muscles. Compression assists in blood flow. So you're getting more blood flowing where it needs to flow and it's gonna help your skate session. So my friend Xander was complaining about his ankle braces. They kept slipping down, sliding all over the place. They weren't keeping his ankle stabilized or doing anything. So I let him try these for today's session. He actually rolled his ankle a few days ago, but he said these really helped. You can just watch the footage and see, he looks really confident in these. So what I like about the ankle brace is it actually has some padding on the sides for your ankle. There are two places that I hit myself with my skateboard, in the side of the ankle and in the shin. So if you got shin guards and you got something like this, you're pretty protected from the board hitting you while you're doing flip tricks. So for me personally, I got a medium on these and I have big wide feet. I probably should have got a large because they're really hard to get over my feet. And then I got an extra large on the knee brace. Yeah, extra large. And I think I should have got a large in both. So I've got kind of big legs, but I think I could use a little bit more compression on the knee. So if you're an average sized guy, I would probably go large. They do have a sizing chart though, so check that out. So I would suggest this if you feel sore. Uh, it's not the most protection from rolling your ankle. If you've recently rolled your ankle, maybe you need a little bit more stability. But if you're old and getting sore, this is gonna be great. So most days, I feel really good when I go out to skate. I still feel young. But occasionally, I'll wake up, be really sore, and not really feel like skating. It takes me a while to warm up. So I've noticed when I throw something like this on, it helps me warm up faster. I mean, it literally warms my knee up. So I've been wearing these under my pants a lot of times. I don't wear shorts that often when I'm skateboarding because I'm afraid of hitting myself in the shin. Uh, but I've also been wearing these. This is just a neoprene sleeve over my thigh. So I feel like occasionally I'll pull a muscle in the back of my leg. And when I do that, I'm done. I can't skate. But if I put something really tight, some compression on it, it allows me to keep skating. That's the main problem I've had lately is just pulling muscles in the back of my leg. I don't really pull the muscles in the front. They're usually pretty strong, but just the underside of my thigh. So I could actually pull these up all the way up here and uh, use them as compression up there as well. So I've noticed that the knee pad actually does have a little bit of padding on here. So I wouldn't knee slide or anything on this on a vert ramp, but if you do fall and you've got this on under your pants, there's gonna be a little bit of protection. You're not gonna skin yourself up as much, which I have done. I've fallen on them and my knee looks fine. So the vert ramp I usually skate got torn down, but we're gonna try these out with knee pads on a mini ramp. I don't you know, usually skate this ramp with knee pads, but it's a good idea because it's a wooden ramp and there's these kids that are uh, coming to this park and throwing coal and breaking glass all over everything. So there's a lot of stuff to run into on the ramp. So I think the knee pads might be a good idea. The reason I got these was my friend Lee suggested them. I saw him skating the rail in Lawrenceburg one day and he hit his ankle against the rail really hard. And because he had this extra padding right over the ankle bone, I didn't get hurt. These were sent to me for free, but I'm not obligated to say any specific thing about them, so I will be giving my real opinion about this product. They also sent me a can opener and some stickers. So if I'm feeling really drowsy and old, I'll throw these on and it'll make me feel rejuvenated. I've noticed the knee pad does have a little bit of padding around the kneecap as well. And I've done knee slides in the mini ramp, the wooden mini ramp, with these on and didn't scrape up my knees or anything. So it did offer a little bit of protection, not like a knee pad, but it'll offer a little bit of protection for you.
Let's put this next to Lee's sticker and Zach's sticker down here. Let's go down here on the actual base so it doesn't get in the way of anybody's grinds. But you can tell this old bone sticker is nice because it's got this transparent area that's still part of the sticker. So yeah, my friend Lee skates for the company. He suggested the ankle braces. I already had the knee braces. I also know AJ Nelson. He's a vert rider from the Midwest. He skates around here a lot. So he's more of an acquaintance. I wouldn't really say a friend on him, but he's a really good skater. He skates for them. I think it's cool that a company that sells ankle braces and knee braces can have a full skate team. So I would suggest these. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check these out. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos. I've got a lot of videos on this channel about skate related products and how to videos. And if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.